back, everybody. She is a top chef and an iron chef and the owner of the renowned restaurant, The Girl and the Goat in Chicago. And today she's here in our kitchen making her world famous, absolutely oh, it's world famous delicious, now. monumental <laughs> soft shell crab it's with a chili sauce. Now. It's world yes, famous. Yes, That's yes. right. That's a good lead. That's right. They were popular. Now they're world famous. <laughs> Welcome back. One of our good friends, Chef Stephanie Iser. <laughs> have stuck around to eat. We promised yeah, some food. And the girls are eating already. I already yeah, the girls are already eating. Oh, so, Steph, <laughs> soft shell crab is, when you think of soft shell crab, you think summer and it's delicious, but it can right. be very daunting and, and people are afraid to make this at home. You say don't fear. Don't fear. Stephanie is here. Stephanie we are here to here. show you. I appreciate that. So, <laughs> I think that a lot of seafood is a little scary to make at home and so people kind of avoid that part of the grocery store, right. but soft shell crabs are only in season for a short time. You should definitely get some and make them. Just have your fishmonger clean them for you so that okay. they're not scary at all so they're pretty much just ready to go and you could eat them whole wait do you do you fry them just like that or do you I'm cut, gonna them, cut in them in half I love cutting them oh in gosh, half so they get a little bit yeah we're just gonna cut them in half super not scary at all you can see all of that delicious sweet meat so these are blue crabs that basically are in between shells they've gotten rid of their hard shell they're getting ready for a new one and when it's in between you can eat oh, the so whole it's not thing. a different type of crab Oh. It's a blue crab, yeah. No, but it's, so it's, can, it's, it's just a regular crab. It just is, it shed one shell and it's getting ready for the next so one. So you got a time exactly. That's how, that's it's like having a soft shell. I never huh. knew that. Uh, I thought it was a specific they, thing. They, they, shed, they, they just shedded their, yeah. uh, their, their hard, hard shell, shell and now they have a soft one. I have a soft shell. I, just felt, I felt bad for them. I'm like, look at those poor crabs. See. I wonder if the other crabs are sad that these, those ones have soft it's shell. It's kind of yeah. like yeah. they're in like a wardrobe change. I love it. We understand that. I'm very excited that I learned that today. So it's all about the batter when you make this. So what goes into your batter? So we've got flour and cornstarch, and that's going to help make it super crunchy. Oh. And then I'm pouring in beer. Yeah. Um, Any type so of beer? <laughs> one that you're going to want to drink. Okay, so uh, that, whether it's light or hoppy. Or... It's, it's good for it to be light. If you have something that's a little too hoppy, it can be bitter when you put it in the batter. Okay. And see how it's nice and frothy and a little bit thin? That's what you're looking right. for. You really want it to be nice and cold, so take the beer right out of the fridge before okay. you make the batter. We're going to go ahead and put our crabs in there and let them hang out for a minute, okay. sort of soak that all up while we make some sauce. Oh, there my we gosh. go. All right. So just They're just going to chill out. They're going to chill out. Let them chill for a second. They're going to chill out. They don't really have to hang too long, but just while we make this sauce, we've got a lot of ingredients. Your chili sauce is really something else. Quite a few ingredients. There in are, here. there are, because we're really building layers of flavors with this sauce. So we've got tamarind that's in here, um, which is a little bit tangy, has a tiny bit of natural sweetness to it. We're putting in some ketchup. Oh. We're gonna put in some hot sauce. This is a chipotle hot sauce, so it's got Ooh, some okay. nice little smokiness to it. This is a little pickling liquid, so we've got some nice acidity. We're adding in a little bit of a sherry or a dry oh. cooking wine. Look at all this. How did Look you come, at all this. Did you come up with this? I mean, it's one of this those is, things. There are a whole lot of ingredients here. Everything was in the kitchen. You said just put it in. This is actually the perfect sauce to demonstrate balancing all the layers of flavor. So I'm adding in spicy, salty. I'm putting in some what was that? sesame. That was a little soy sauce. Okay. A little soy sauce, and then that one. A little sesame. So you've got those toasty okay. notes. Great. Fish sauce, my all-time so. favorite ingredient that exists. Fish sauce should be in everything. It should. And I don't think people understand. I They're agree. like yuck, but fish sauce does something to the layers of a it's, flavor that just makes people go, "This like is the most it's delicious true. thing I've ever eaten." Because these sauces can really, really kind of make the dish sure or break. Yeah. Are, they, are these are they hard to Garland? find these ingredients? Or are they tough to come by? Some of them can be. I think the one that might be the hardest to find would be tamarind. If you truly can't find it, you can get some lime juice, which brings out acidity and a little mm. bit of brown sugar. So you can still get that balance. Okay. But I think Ooh. nowadays grocery stores have a lot more ingredients available, especially in the sort of ethnic aisle where you can find different Asian ingredients. So you should be able to find tamarind. So is the final thing just um, crushed garlic? Yeah, a little bit of crushed garlic okay. and ginger for some freshness. Oh, and nice. Yeah, really so like all these layers. ingredients in there. But there is, but each there for a reason, which and is really what you want to think gonna about. I was going to say, you put so much yumminess in that, but then, and I might be jumping ahead, but then you <laughs> add the strawberries, and it's sweet. <laughs> you're jumping <laughs> ahead. No, it's know, great. It's great. Go backwards. But again, going for those layers of flavors. So you're going to finish off the sauce. We've got some vegetable stock and butter heated up. We're going to oh. add the sauce in okay. so it can kind of come together without breaking. By Kevin, heating it up, you, you kind um, of... You guys, do you cook? Uh... Yes. No. I, don't, I feel like I don't really like that. Notes. You said no. I don't believe do you it. Do you like it? I love it. I love it. I love you like, like eating? I, like doing, I, like doing, I love eating. One pot dishes. Quick, well, simple. One look pot look dishes. Again. All right. Yeah. This is like one pot. It's just one big pot of one frying. Pot, yeah. <laughs> I feel like one pot dishes I do mostly in the winter. In the summer, it's almost like a quick cook. Right. So yeah. It's a quick cook, which this is the perfect dessert. Like a fish fry. Yeah. Like a fish fry. A fry. There you go. So how long do these stay in the hot it's really oil. just for about a minute. You just want to get them crispy. Wow. Because they're so small, you don't want to overcook that meat. You know, like overcooked shrimp that can be a little rubbery? Oh. Same with crabs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, 
Oh, it's still look great. It's protective eyewear. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, look so at that. So these are already sure just about lens, done. Right? Wow. Yeah, we're just going until they've got... Until they get color? Yeah, until they've got... They're not going to really get color. Tempura batter is actually meant to be really crispy without having a lot of color. Okay. So we're going to pull those out. You can see the crab shell has already changed color to be bright red. So that's what I meant. Tell when the crab shell gets yeah, color. Crab color. And that's when you know it's color. ready? Exactly. So we're going to pull those out. They're nice and crispy. Super fine. easy. There you go. Wow. Before you put them in the fryer, I would also just make sure they're a little bit dried off so they don't splatter mm. on your... You Friends are making this uh, seem okay, very accessible for those yeah. that get a little intimidated it by something is. Like this in the kitchen. So. It is. I think, you know, just the term soft shell crab, the fact that it was kind of unknown yeah. what that yeah. actually means, it's kind of take away the mystery and you have something super simple and delicious. What if we don't have a deep fryer? Is it impossible to make? It's not. And, you know, I don't have a deep fryer at my house, but whenever I want to fry, I just put sort of a heavy-duty pan on, and you can get a thermometer, like a candy thermometer, okay. and just put it on to see the temperature. So can it's I ask what nice oil you use? This is just a canola oil. Okay. You can use just something that can get a high heat. Just okay. make sure you don't deep fry in olive oil. Right. You don't, don't want to do that. Oh, look at you. Now, do you need me at the restaurant? I can yes, you. I do. You're hosting a big party uh, in Chicago this summer. Tell us about the Fulton Market Harvest. We are. Fulton Market Harvest Fest, September 14th to 16th. Uh, we have music. We have, it's sort of a street festival. It means a music festival. It means a food festival, cooking demos, lots of chefs from around the country Aww. and from Chicago. So that's us that last year. Fun. Oh, how fun. That's all the people that's having awesome. fun. Yeah, it's a ton of fun. It's good. in Chicago. We love our summers because it's not like LA where it's summer every day. Yeah. <laughs> but in Chicago, so we get really excited. You love your food too. It's Chicago true. has some of the most amazing restaurants. Thank you. Yeah, we're actually getting ready to come to LA with our restaurant, so we're going to kind of be. Yeah. The girl and the goat's going to be here. You guys can People come and have psyched. this there. Wait, yeah, there's we'll more sauce. There. And what is this? Oh, yeah, no, it's olive oil, just for a little extra spice. <laughs> <laughs> and the strawberries. So strawberries might be yeah. like kind of the ingredient where you're like, how did you think of putting strawberries it. on there? I, mean, so I like with the spicy something nice and acidic and a little bit sweet, and it does. It balances it out. Okay, let's go, Steph. You want to go see? Let's go, go, Steph. Who's paying attention? Yes. You go ahead, dig in. Everybody, full the extra sauce. The full recipe, that's a mystery you saw. <laughs> by the way, that's the only one you've ever been involved in. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So you know. Uh, check out HallmarkChannel.com for the full recipe.